Hi guys, welcome to part 6 of Angular 7 for Absolute Beginners by Tech Tech Tips in 2019. In today's video tutorial, we will continue to talk about directives and in this particular video tutorial, we will talk about event binding using directives. So without any further ado, without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. Friends, in the previous video tutorial in part 5, we have talked about what are directives and then we talked about some data binding directives like ng class, ng style, ng if and ng style. So those are data binding directives. You can bind data either one way or two way using data binding directives. We recently only talked about one way data binding. In future, we will do two way data binding as well but in this video tutorial we are going to talk about event data binding how can we do event data binding using event directives so the first thing we need to talk about is how to use event bindings so when talking about event binding first question came into the mind if you are new to angular 7 or if you are new to javascript that what is an event so an event is anything when you do an interaction with your web page or any page like if you click on any link, if you type in any text box or text area or if you move from one text box to another text box or if you click a button on a form, these all things are called events. So normally in JavaScript you use on click, on key up, on key down, on mouse move, on mouse over events and same thing we will use in Angular 7 but a little bit differently. So let me show you practically. So suppose this is our application which is running in the background. So we have a button and I will use app component.html file and create a button here. So suppose I type a button and name it click me. So what I want that when I click the button, the value of this num variable should be changed. So I need to bind click event with this click me button. So how can I do that? I need to use brackets and then in brackets, I will type the name of that particular events, particular event. Suppose I want to use click event, so I will type here click and then outside of the brackets I will press equal sign and then in the double quotes, same like what we did with the data binding, we need give to give a name to the we need to give a name to a function or we need to create a function and that function will be defined inside our TypeScript file. So suppose may I will create so suppose I will create a on click function here and I simply call it like this on click and then this function need to be defined inside our app component.ts file. So anywhere inside class app component we can create on click and then square brackets and then this function. So we have successfully created the function. So what we need to do is when we press this button, this num variable become, uh, sorry, app component.ts file. This num variable will become 6, right? Right now it is 4. And if we see the output on the screen, it is saying number is less than 5. But what I want now that when I click this button, this num button will become 6. So how can I do? I simply do it here, this. So this means refer this class dot num is equal to 6. So what I am doing here, I am telling the TypeScript file that in this class where there is a num variable, make its value to 6. So I have to use this operator. This is a keyword operator. So I have to use it, this dot num. If I don't use this, then it means I am referring within this block and this num variable is not existing in this scenario or there is no global declared num variable. Also the template file, this num variable will only be accessing this num variable. So that is why you have to put this dot and then the name of that variable here. So I will save it. After saving it, 
I will go to the browser and now if I click the button you see number is greater than 5 it's changed because now the num value is 6 and let me show you why I'm saying it's now 6 in the app.component.html file I will simply create another key here and I will type here num so it will display the num so currently you see it is 4 so as soon as I press the click me button and this number is greater than 5 and the number goes to 6 so this is happened because I have used on click I called the on click function by using the click events so there are many other events like key up event key down event mouse move event mouse over event mouse um, out I mean there are lots of events which are in JavaScript they are all I mean the this events inside JavaScript all of them are supported inside uh, angular 7 as well so you don't need to worry you if you know about JavaScript then it will be very easy for you otherwise if you are not sure or if this is your first time with angular 7 and you don't know too much about uh, JavaScript then you can go to MDN Mozilla development network website and their search events and it will give you the list of events or you can google them events so suppose you now it is a click event so what if i do it key up or mouse over so if suppose i type here mouse over so now when i mouse over the button then it will automatically trigger this on click event so let me show you right now it is four and number is less than five so as soon as i take mouse over the click me you see I didn't click it but it goes to numbers greater than 5 and now value get to 6 furthermore I can use here an input box like input text and then I can name it anything like name and I can then pass this name value here easily name dot value here and the, the angular 7 or angular will automatically take this name and its value along with this on click function and then I can access this function here by typing any like num here and then I can say num is equal to num so this num is now which I have just told you previously that this num is now this num and this num dot this dot num is talking about this num so you i want to make it clear for you that is why i type here num as well so this is a local scope variable num and this is a global pr property of this class so i will save it and when it reloads now we have a text box here if i type 7 and then i click the button let me see this num is equal to uh, this num is equal to num let me see what the problem what is in the num so i console log it and let me inspect element i think it is not getting the value because there is some one thing is still missing so if i type a 6 and and you see it is saying undefined undefined means that this uh, I didn't save it. Let me see if I didn't save it. Six. Yeah, I <laughs> I didn't save it, so that is why it was saying undefined. So now if I type here three and let me change it to click. So now when I type anything here and press click, so it's saying number is less than five. So of course one is less than five. It's if I type five, it's saying number this is greater than five because I, we have put the condition. That if number is greater than equal to 5 then it must show number is greater than 5 and if I type 4 it will say number is less than 5 and also in the console you can see whatever number I am typing it is showing its value so this is how you can get hashtag we will talk about what is this hashtag name in the future as well when we go to the forms for the time being just keep in mind that if you put any uh, text element or name with this hashtag you can access its value anywhere inside the template and then pass it to your TypeScript file easily. So guys, this is it.
this was our video tutorial for today where we talked about how to use event bindings and we have used two events click and mouse move you can find and use other events as well and see how they react so if do let me know if you find any problem in this video's comment section and i will be happy to help you so guys with that i would like to tell you that don't forget to press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then do consider and subscribe to tech tech tours for more upcoming videos and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get notified as soon as we upload new video or new series so thank you very much take care goodbye